How secure is your VPS? While everything might seem safe and sound, virtual private servers do have a few weak spots. If you want to know how to identify them and how to get rid of them, stay tuned and I'll teach you how to boost your VPS security to a whole new level. While Linux servers are known for their security, there are ways for cyber criminals to get an advantage. For example, unpatched software is like leaving the front door to your server wide open. Even if your software is up to date, there are other vulnerable spots such as weak passwords, poorly configured application session timeouts, or improper access rights. On top of all that, attackers might just try to brute force their way through if all else fails. Luckily, there are actionable solutions to secure your VPS. In fact, I'm going to give you 10 security measures that you can apply to your VPS right now. Let's check out the first one. Your VPS hosting provider will lay the foundation of your website security by providing the necessary infrastructure. On top of that, your provider should offer additional layers of protection that are built in or easy to install. We're talking features like a web application firewall, security scanner, or PHP open based dirt protection. For example, at Hostinger, we implement advanced DDoS mitigation and other security features like automated backups and live snapshots that will save your data in case of emergency. And if you're interested in trying out our VPS hosting, don't forget to apply the VPS10 coupon code upon payment to get a 10% discount. A hosting provider with robust security isn't worth much if your passwords are weak though. This next step is absolutely essential to keep your server safe. Sometimes a password is all that stands between a hacker and your website. So make sure that every password you create is as strong as it can possibly be. Some passwords can be really easy to guess and you don't want yours to be one of them. Avoid using common phrases or the name of your pet, even if that's simple to remember. A long, complicated password, especially one that includes numbers and special characters, can be crucial to stopping a brute force attack. Even if you've got a strong password, don't use it on more than one account. And remember to change it regularly, ideally once every uh, three months. But how am I going to memorize this long and random password you may ask? Guess what? You don't need to do that anymore. This is where Password Managers comes in. They're an amazing tool for both creating and storing all of your passwords. For extra security, consider setting up your VPS with an SSH connection. SSH keys use advanced encryption techniques, making them way more difficult to crack than traditional passwords. In fact, we even have a video tutorial on how to create SSH keys for your server, so make sure to check it out. All right, if you're using an SSH connection already, there's a chance that it's still set to the default 22 port. This, however, makes it very easy for hackers to find and target your website. Therefore, you'll probably want to change your default SSH listing port. I'll show you how to do that now by running some commands. Head to the Hostinger tutorial article I linked in the description below to find all the commands needed so you can just copy and paste them. Now, open your computer's terminal and log in with SSH. If you use Windows, you'll need PuTTY for this. Run this command to edit the service configuration file. Locate the line that reads port 22. Replace 22 with a new port number and remove the hashtag. Save the changes and exit. Then you need to restart the service. If you use Debian and Ubuntu, type this command. While for CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux users, type in this command. Once you're done, try logging in with SSH using the new port number to check if it's applied successfully. A Linux VPS provides root user access to modify any aspect of the server. While this is great for more control, the root login is an especially tempting target for any hackers. If you don't mind deactivating this account, it will help improve root access security, safeguarding your server from brute force attacks. However, before you disable the root login, make sure to create another user with pseudo privileges. Otherwise, the VPS will be locked out. Okay, first, open up terminal and log into your SSH account. Type this command and the username you want to create. Then set a complex password for it. Once that's done, run the sudo vsudo command and go to the bottom of the file. Add the new username you created and give it all access with this command. Then save the file and exit. Now disable the root login by running this command with either nano or vi text editor. Find this parameter and change it to no. 
Next, save the changes and restart the SSH service using the service SSH restart command for Debian and Ubuntu. For CentOS and RHEL, you'll need to run this one instead. All right, nice, feeling a lot safer already. Let's see how we can improve the safety of our file transfers now. The file transfer protocol connection is widely used and popular. However, it's also unsafe due to the lack of encryption. On the other hand, FTP over transport layer security encrypts logging credentials but does nothing to secure file transmission. As a result, using either of these connections may put your data at risk. Hackers can easily perform a sniffing attack to steal your logging credentials and intercept file transfers. The solution here? Secure File Transfer Protocol. This secure FTP connection encrypts all data, including the credentials and transfer files. Plus, with SFTP, the client needs to be authenticated before accessing the system, so it protects users from man-in-the-middle attacks. Now, fortunately, setting up a secure file transfer protocol connection is simple. If you already have FileZilla, simply open the app. If you're a Debian or Ubuntu user, run this command to install it. And if you're using CentOS or RHEL, use this command instead. All right, now open up the FileZilla application, then enter the required information in the fields. Fill in the port section with 22 since we're going to connect via SFTP. When you're done, hit Quick Connect. If it's your first time connecting to the VPS through SSH or SFTP, you'll receive a warning like this, so don't worry. Simply check the box and click OK. You'll see a split view with your local file system on the left and your VPS file system on the right. You can transfer files by dragging and dropping them between the sites. Easy as that. All software patches may have vulnerabilities that can give hackers the upper hand. Therefore, it's very important that you keep all of your applications up to date. Most developers release updates and security patches regularly, so typically all you have to do is just check for the latest versions of your software and install them as soon as possible. In the Linux operating system, you can run a command to list and install all of the available package updates quickly. Here's how to do it on Debian or Ubuntu. Open your SSH terminal and run this command to update the entire package list. Meanwhile, use this command instead if you're updating the actual package. On CentOS or RHEL, the commands are different. To check for any updates, run this line. Then enter this command to refresh the package database and install updates. By the way, if you use a content management system like WordPress on your server, I highly recommend enabling automated updates there. Also, you could even create cron jobs, which are a Linux-based utility that schedules a command or script to run at a specific time and date. Okay, the most convenient way to install and run a cron job on CentOS or RHEL is using the yum cron service. It will automatically update the software every time a new version is released. In addition to setting up a firewall to filter incoming traffic, it's important to monitor the files in your VPS. Viruses can pose a serious threat to Linux servers, potentially damaging or compromising your data. This is why an antivirus is absolutely crucial. Out of the options available, I recommend ClamAV as it's popular, open source, and receives frequent updates. If you have less than two gigabytes of spare RAM, then enabling ClamAV isn't a good option. If you do, you'll risk crashing your server as that RAM will go directly to ClamAV. Most antivirus software does a pretty good job of protecting your VPS from viruses like Trojans or Worms. However, it may not do so well with more recent exploits like zero-day malware. With that in mind, it's a good idea to pair your installed antivirus with a malware scanner for extra VPS security. Typically, malware scanners update their detection rules faster, allowing them to distinguish newer threats. You can install any malware scanner through the terminal. If you use Hostinger's VPS though, there's a Monarch's malware scanner included for free with any plan. If you don't have it installed yet, here's a quick guide how to do that. Log in and enter the VPS area. Navigate to security and find malware scanner. Then click on the malware scanner banner and install once prompted. The installation process may take up to an hour, but once it installed, you can access the tool from the same menu. This section displays the automatic scan results, including the number of compromised files. You can manually clean up the malicious files or use Monarch's Autumn Removal Tool, which will automatically delete the injected malware and quarantine potentially compromised files. 
To activate the auto removal though, you'll need the paid version of Monarchs, which currently costs $7 a month. It's also worth noting that restoring a snapshot and rescanning your VPS will reset the current malware diagnostic results. Keep in mind that if you plan on changing the server's operating system, you will need to reinstall Monarchs. If you have multiple users on your VPS, you need to be very careful about access control. Granting everyone root privileges can create a serious risk, potentially compromising both your server and its data. To avoid any problems in the future, it's essential to restrict user access levels before things can get out of hand. Luckily, Linux features a user privileges management feature that will let you modify system access permissions for different accounts. To use the feature on Ubuntu, simply open up terminal and connect via SSH. Enter this command to create a group and add the group name after it. Next, run this command to create a new user and add the user name. The output will prompt you to set a password and bio such as full name, room number, and phone number. Type Y and press enter to confirm the entered information. To add user to a group, run the command below. Do note that it doesn't produce any output though. If you want to grant root access to the user, run the following command. This one won't give any output either. If you have a directory and want to add read and write privileges to it, use a command with this syntax. One more tip, regularly list users in your Linux system to check for malicious entries. This is important since hackers often create an account in a compromised machine to gain access. Hackers often send malicious traffic through IPv6, so leaving the protocol open might expose your server to security breaches. Even if you're not actively using your IPv6, some of your programs may open listening sockets on it. When a packet comes in, these programs will process it even if it's malicious. So if you don't necessarily need it, just disable your IPv6 to secure your VPS. First, open up terminal and log in with SSH. Enter this command afterward. Once the configuration file opens, add these command lines at the bottom. Then save and close the file. Next, execute the changes with this command. Lastly, insert this command and hit enter. If you see the number one, that means IPv6 has been disabled successfully. All right, those are some useful VPS security measures that you can apply right now. Do you have any other useful security tips that you wanna share? Leave them in the comment section below the video. Security threats are constantly evolving, so be sure to subscribe to Hosting Gear Academy and turn on notifications for future updates. As always, thank you for watching, good luck, and stay safe on your online journey.